at Pet Plant Program, we encourage our seniors to participate in taking plants as pets. Intention of the program is to engage them in an activity. Today, I'm going to share with you information about what to do after the amaryllis flowers start wilting. Here you can see all four flowers after nice bloom are dead. Some people think to throw away the plant itself. No, please do not do that. This plant is an amazing plant and will keep on blooming year after year when taken care of it. Today we will learn what to do after the flowers have wilted. The first thing to do is cut off the flowers. Here I am showing how I am doing after all flowers are dead. You can also snip your flowers once they are bloomed and display them in a bowl of water before they wilt. After you snip the flowers, the stalk is there. I will come back to it in a bit. Now the leaves have grown but they are, all, but they are kind of lying down. This is not good and they can start yellowing and die. To stop that we need to provide some kind of support so they are standing up. To accomplish that you can use either plastic ties or fuzzy strings. Both are easily available at dollar stores. Now I am trying to hold the leaves standing up and use the fuzzy string to tie them together. Do not tie them too tight. Leave some space between leaves for them to breathe. Now here you can see a small thin leaf. It's actually from a baby bulb which was attached to the main bulb. I left it there for experiment sake and now we see the small leaf. Anyways we need to tie this as well. Sorry. Anyways this we need to tie so it is standing up. So I am going to use a plastic tie to do that. That is all you need to do as maintenance for amaryllis until towards the end of summer. Now the only thing you need to do is water the plant regularly. Do not over water or under water. Also provide at least 6 hours of indirect light per day. If you have any questions or concerns please leave a comment and I will get back to you. Thank you and have a wonderful one.